How's it going people? Pockercroft here, and today I'm here to bring you beautiful viewers a new Pokemon Facts and Theories video. As usual, I've tried to go for some of the less mainstream facts and theories, so hopefully you haven't heard of any of the upcoming, or at least some of them. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, let's kick things off at number 10 with probably the most well-known fact on this list. Did you know that all the professors are named after trees? Oak, Elm, Birch, Rowan, Juniper and Sycamore respectively. Number 9 Some fans believe that Game Freak made a mistake when creating Psyduck's evolution line. Psyduck should be named Golduck as he is essentially a gold duck and Golduck should be named Psyduck as it is said that it possesses advanced psychic abilities and may even use telekinetic powers if the jewel on its forehead starts glowing. Number 8 In the original Gen 1 games, an old guy in the Cinnabar Island laboratory offers to trade his electrode for the player's Raichu. It's a bit of a silly trade considering both Pokemon can be easily obtained but if you decide to go through with the trade, the man tells you that the Raichu you traded him, it went and evolved. This makes no sense, considering Raichu can't evolve. But this is actually a translation error on the part of Nintendo and Game Freak. The text was based on the Japanese version of Pokemon Blue, where the original trade involved the player trading a Kadabra for a Graveler. In regular gameplay, Kadabra evolves into Alakazam and Graveler evolves into Golem when traded for another Pokemon. So it would make sense for the man to say, the Kadabra you traded me went and evolved but because the game's text was translated without taking this change into consideration and Raichu's name was simply pasted on top of Kadabra's, this dialogue error was born. Number 7 Did you know that the Pokemon Empoleon is actually based on Napoleon Bonaparte? Empoleon's name is derived from Emperor Napoleon. They also share the same height at 5 foot 7. Not only that, if you browse through Empoleon's Pokedex entries, it sometimes talks about it attacking anyone who threatens its pride. And Napoleon Bonaparte was also known to have very prominent pride. Number 6 Did you know that the original Japanese name for the move self-destruct was suicide bombing? Naturally, they couldn't keep the original name considering Pokemon is a game aimed at the younger audience. Number 5 I'm sure you're all aware of Youngster Joey and his top percentage Rattata. Well actually, he's not completely bullshitting when he speaks so highly of it. A couple of hackers actually confirmed this theory by capturing and performing a few different tests on Joey's Rattata. They confirmed that the Pokemon actually has 31 IVs in every single stat, which is very hard to acquire in any Pokemon, let alone a Rattata. Number 4 Have you ever noticed that the move Fire Blast seems to resemble a certain symbol? If yes, then that's probably because it's actually based on the Japanese kanji symbol for fire. Number 3 Dr. Fuji from Pokemon the first movie and Mr. Fuji from Lavender Town are the same person. This is an interesting theory that's been going on for a while. People believed that Dr. Fuji, the lead scientist during the creation of Mew 2, changed his appearance and profession after creating the abomination that is Mew 2. Frankly, this theory is very believable as there is much to support it particularly in Fire Red and Leaf Green. In these games, there are several pieces of text which encourage the theory.
Yes, for years this was a very popular speculation, but all it was, was speculation. That was, until it was more or less confirmed in the Pokemon Origins miniseries. Number 2 There's a trainer called Fire Breather Dick in the original Generation 2 games. He was renamed to Fire Breather Richard in Heart Gold and Soul Silver because of the obvious penis reference. Now the strange thing is about Fire Breather Dick is that once he's defeated, his in-game sprite turns grey. Number 1 Entei, Raikou and Suicune are reincarnations of Flareon, Jolteon and Vaporeon. Now this is one of my favourite fan theories, as it's actually a theory I speculated before I even knew it was so popular. In Pokemon Crystal version, it is mentioned that three Pokemon perished in the burned tower and were resurrected with new life by a rainbow coloured Pokemon. It claims that the Pokemon referred to in this story are the three legendary beasts, and of course, Ho-Oh. But just what Pokemon were the three legendary beasts before they perished and were given new life? Well, most sources point to the three original evolutions. I mean, even without any support of the theory, it's easily the most viable answer. But Ecrotig City, the source of this entire theory, gives us a few possible hints that may be intentionally pointing to this theory. First of all, the Kimono Girls. Each one of them has a respective evolution, in which you must defeat in order to acquire the move Surf. Also, the first time you meet Bill, aka the guy who gives you an Eevee, is in Ecrotake City's Pokemon Center. And finally, the Wise Trio who actually tell the player the story of the Burnt Tower, he choose one of the Eevee's original three evolutions when you battle them. Well guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and please, if you did, hit that like button and drop a comment. Also, feel free to subscribe, as I have more videos like this on my channel, and I plan to put a lot more of them in the near future. Anyways, be sure to have an awesome day, and I'll see you next time.